just smells like coconut now. Hello my lovelies and welcome to my monthly favorite videos. I think I do this type of video pretty much every month because I just love summarizing um, every product that I loved using in any one month uh, in one video and I decided to do the same for January. January for a lot of people is usually the longest month ever but for some reason it really went like this for me and that's probably because I kind of like I guess it a lot and we didn't stop. It was still quite nice to spend some time with family at the beginning of the year. I have to say that because I know that our next few weeks are gonna be crazy. Going to uh, Hawaii, New York, London, Milan, Paris, and then probably Arizona, and then and then I'm gonna be turning 30, so that's another story. Why, God, why? <laughs> we had a deal. Let the others grow old, not me. <laughs> But anyway, um, I feel like something's missing over there, except for my 3 a.m. journal, which I always keep by in my um, bedside table. There's usually a candle there, and it's not there because it's gonna be my monthly favorite. So I'm gonna start with it now, so that I can put it back. It is the Nudes, or something like that. This beautiful, kind of dusty uh, pink candle that smells like most beautiful roses ever. If any of you ever use Lush Rose Argan, that's exactly what it smells like, very creamy rose, and I love that smell so much. In fact, I want to buy uh, Rose Argan now because I love that product in Lush so much. It's very it leaves your skin very creamy, but that's this video is not about it now. This is basically my favorite candle of this month. Another thing that I really want to mention in this video would be this Culti Milano, I think it's called Officus Sand Diffuser. I actually feel like sand diffusers are quite, are quite underrated. This one smells very coconutty and it makes my living space smell very warm and very beautiful and I love it so much. If you come across this one, check it out. As you can see, mine's coming to an end. So, sad story. Mmm, smells like coconut now. Do we do fashion first? No, well, yes, I think so. Favorite bag of month January has to be my beloved white Chanel um, Coco Handle bag. I just love this bag so, so, so much because um, first of all, it was kind of like a spontaneous purchase. I did want this bag for a while because I, I was looking, both actually Christina and I want this bag. Uh, we just want quite different colors and she is looking for a beige or pale pink. So if any of you have seen it or see it, please do let us know or let her know. And I didn't really know what I was looking for, but I knew that when I see it, I will love it. And this bag was such a perfect buy because I love the chevron, I love the creased uh, leather, the back pocket, the kind of like style that it's a little bit more casual. It's filled with things right now, but I have to say that this bag served me so, so well in month of January. I wore it a lot in December as well, as you could have seen ever since I bought it, since Christmas. I pretty much wore it very frequently. I am gonna get next to a sweater, besides this sweater, which I wore so much, that is from Versace and is currently on sale. Of course, I always link everything below and I will link this below as well. I wore a lot of my Balenciaga grey oversized turtleneck. I love this one because it's just so effortless. I'll insert some pictures of when I wore it. I mean, Balenciaga is one of my favorite brands at the moment. I love the kind of like cool street vibe but it's still very classy and kind of cool i don't know how to quite explain it but i wear it very frequently i will insert some pictures of like my numerous balenciaga outfits i just think this knit is very very cozy it's cashmere it's that beautiful kind of cool gray tone with black letters and it's perfect for traveling perfect for styling with like skirts or trousers or whatever you want to wear it with which is why i loved it so much now, there are two more Balenciaga things in this monthly favorites. But one that I have to mention and that you've seen many, many times would be this kind of like hourglass. I would call it hourglass blazer because it actually kind of goes in, it's structured around the hip area. They have two shades of this material. There's a gray one, which I have boots in, and then there's this brownish one. I love this blazer. When I bought it, I thought it was a little bit expensive. Um, comparing to the fact that it was the price range of like a Max Mara coat, like a teddy coat that I own. I thought like, mm, if a coat costs this much, should a blazer cost that much? But yes, it should, because actually I wear this so, so much. I wear it under coats, I wear it as an item, I wear it 
million different times and I will insert again pictures because I think this item is so perfect, so fashion, so cool and not everybody has it. I don't like that Max Mara teddy coat, which I love so much, but you know. After January, I think I'm gonna give my triple S sneakers a little break. Um, I wore them a lot in December, in January, in November, in September and every month I wore them a lot. I love these, they're so comfortable, they're perfect for traveling. As I guess we get into spring, I will be wearing more of my Dior's that I love so much, I have in pink and in white, but for now I have to say that these were absolute, absolute favorite. I wore them so much, I think they just kind of, they were a bit of a turning point in my style this, well, last year and I'm very grateful to them for that. Should I get them in another color? Maybe don't leave a comment below. You guys always enable me to make these purchases, but I love you for that. Other favorites of the month were definitely my uh, Maria Tash earrings. I have them here and here. I will leave a particular link for everyone. Um, I mean, they are just very, very special to me. I wear them every single day. I have the helix piercings, the day piercing, and I have four piercings here and three here, I think. I love them. They're all Maria Tash currently in my ears and I just think you cannot go wrong with Maria Tash. Two coats that I have to show you because I guess in general coats are everything, right? I think this one is a no-brainer and you all know that I was gonna say it. My Chanel coat. Not only I got it in the sale, I think everybody knows this now, right? Um, even Christina when she did the voiceover in the last vlog, last weekly vlog, she was like, and I got it in the sale. This is my recently added in my wardrobe coat, Chanel coat, that I got in Vienna on sale. Yeah, I love it. People often think that it's a belt, it's just a belt, but technically when you look at the prices of Chanel belts nowadays, I paid this whole coat probably the amount of a belt, so I guess, you know, I can't blame them. But actually, this is not, this is like a full coat. The only thing with it is, is that it's not really for winter winter because it has these holes, as you can see, but it's actually very cozy and very warm and I was absolutely fine wearing it in Serbia, in England, in France. I love this coat. When I bought it, I was like, ooh, did I make a mistake with this coat? Why was it in sale? I always question why are things in sale, because usually when they're in sale, it means no one wanted them. And I did not make a mistake with this coat. It's amazing. The last coat and the last fashion piece is going to be my Loewe coat, which I love so much because I think it's very, very cool very stylish and surprisingly warm. This coat is pretty much everything and more. I love it. I would strongly recommend it. I will leave a link where you can get it now. It could be also on sale because um, it got it way back, like November, early November. I wore it so much and every time I wear it, people compliment on it so much. Let's get to the beauty and scents. Talking about smelling beautifully, Chanel Venice is the fragrance that I got into in January. I used it in January and I have to say I didn't really use a lot of it because it quite maintains the scent. I've got it on right now, but I wanna top it up. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Very feminine, very beautiful, maybe even a little bit springy, but like, I mean, you know, don't blame me for like loving beautiful feminine scents. <laughs> I definitely wanna get a Louis Vuitton scent because a lot of you have told me below my Louis Vuitton collection video that I need to get one, I just don't know which one. And I spent in their boutique like half an hour trying every single fragrance there is. I think the woman got so sick of me and then I walked out not buying anything. But I ended up just sticking to this one. I really love it. I think it's a beautiful fragrance and I don't know. I think I should really use up this bottle before I buy anything else. Not very likely to happen considering my fragrance collection. I don't remember the last time I used up a fragrance. I'm running low on my Margiela by the fireplace. That's a good sign. Here, this skincare crazy girl got into Biologique Recherche Lotion B50. Um, it's a very, very popular brand in Serbia. People love it so much because um, they have a very good salon which provides amazing beauty services. This one I got from there. It's kind of like an acid-based toner. It has lactic acid, salicylic acid, basically quite acidy based. But they're, then they're also like calming agents from what I can see. And what that means is that it's quite exfoliating, calming and prevents acne or spots 
probably not for severe acne, but in my case it's very good. I use it as a toner. I also really loved using Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Eye Rescue this month. I got extremely surprised, like pleasantly surprised when I tried this product. I mean, I know all of her products are incredible, but this... This was just like something else. It says revives, rejuvenates and smooths to turn back the clock. Really love how it moisturizes my um, eye area. La Mer is one of my absolute favorite skincare brands. I, I just love them so much. I think they never ever ever disappointed me so far. So the concentrate, which is this little magic thing, is this like amazing, I don't know how to, s well, how to summarize it, but it's like this concentrate thing. It smells very herbally and beautiful, it comes in a green bottle and it's sort of like, it's not a gel, it's more like a balm, between a balm and gel, something like that, but you rub it in anywhere that you need it, like any kind of irritation, any sort of like anxious, angry skin, like I use it even for burns, cuts, braces, probably not what you should use it for, but I love it. And in January, in general, in cold months, it really saves my skin because I generally have dry skin. So this really helps. And I use something that you've seen a lot from my Vlogmas, which is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Sleeping Mask. This is just wow. I apply this and I sleep with it. I, I applied it actually quite a lot in December and January, almost every night. And it really did change the appearance of my skin for the better. One thing I mentioned before and I truly love is the Forever toothbrush. I again used it in December and in January and again like not sponsored or anything like that. I just generally love this toothbrush because it has very very long kind of this bristle thing so I can reach the back of my teeth. It travels with me. I love the color of it and I sometimes I don't actually think I put it on. I, I think I need to charge it. I haven't charged it in like forever but I just use it as a mechanical brush so yeah love it there is this lipstick that I'm actually wearing right now but I'm gonna top up a little bit and it is from a Serbian brand called Aura ultra matte revolution undressed so here we go perfect beautiful nude shade it smells really nice now I sprayed so many things around but kind of chocolatey which is so beautiful it smells beautiful, it lasts very long time, but it dry, doesn't dry my lips, which is why it was perfect for uh, haute couture, it was perfect for trips, for traveling. Everywhere I went, I pretty much used this lipstick, and I'm really, really impressed with it. I tried a few other of their products, and I just thought, like, wow, I know they swear by quality. Again, not sponsored in any way. And I know they invest a lot of time and money and energy into their quality. But still, when I tried it, I was extremely impressed. Besides that, I used another product from Charlotte Tilbury, which is a kind of a contour-ish product. It is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Loving the highlighter, wearing it right now, as well as the darker shade over here. This is just amazing. I think it comes in only one shade, but this says fair or medium, so clearly not in one shade. <laughs> Lols. Another new product that you have never seen in my videos before is this Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. In December, I wore a few times fake eyelashes, just the, you know, like the strip fake eyelashes. I don't know why. I love them, but... Okay, so there's two things. I have normally very thick, very big, like amazing lashes. Like, that's one thing I can say. I hope I don't sound braggy. Really, my lashes are amazing. Like, I love them. However, something happened in December and I don't know if it's because my LVL expired and they just started growing kind of weirdly so I couldn't really make the most out of them or it's because of a lot of fake eyelashes and then when I was removing them I was pulling some off as well. But this mascara finally gives me some life, some oomph and I'm very happy because for some time I was quite like on a downer about my lashes but it also could be that I'm an avid vitamin take her and I have to say that in December like sort of end of December beginning of January for a good three weeks I wasn't really taking them frequently because I was going out a lot and kind of partying a lot and eating like junk food a lot because I was at home and it was Christmas and that's what I do when I'm back home and I'm not gonna go back home a lot in 2019 maybe twice this year if I make it but other than that I'm gonna spend most of my time in London 
So no more junk food, no more going out. That's it with my social life. Okay, three more products. One that is not new to you, but I'm so happy I got it again, is the YSL Couture Eye Primer in shade Fair. I use this as an eyelid primer, wearing it today underneath all of this eyeshadow situation. This is like the best primer for your eyelids you can imagine. Best. There's no better. Like, try it and you're welcome. And you can thank me later or just don't even worry about thanking me. It's amazing. I will link it below by it now. Like, I'm not joking. It's amazing. <laughs> really, really, really amazing. I also have a brow pencil that I got back into this month and it's by Benefit. Precisely my brow pencil in shade 4. I go between 4 and 5. Now, I think I need to get a top up from Nez Hassan on my microblading and I will do that in February. But um, I'm just filling them in and following the shape that she's created already because my area around the eyebrow which you can probably see a little bit is oily and Nez told me if you have like oily skin around there the the pigments tend to last less or it's not that they last like shorter amount of time oh my god I'm so confused now is the fact that the color is not as strong as normally or as it was and I really want it to be pronounced so I filled them in with this but I will have my revamp soon so the last product that I want to talk to you about is the new Dior lip glow I love these lip glows but look at this candy 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 product right so I wear this as a little top up over the matte lipsticks just to give a little glow and this is one of those lipsticks that actually react with your pH. It's in shade 201. Uh, lip glow to the max in pink. Um, I love it. smells kind of vanilla mixed with mint. Very, very unusual scent, but I love it. Um, it's beautiful. It's very moisturizing. And it's a real, it gives really nice glow to your lips, even with no lipstick underneath. So for me, Dior Lip Glow something incredible and in general you guys know how much I love Dior makeup. With that product I will conclude the January favorites. It was a crazy month but the craziest is yet to come February with Hawaii, New York, London, Milan, Paris. Uh, I guess you guys should follow it all on my Insta stories because I will take you with me and I'm very excited. just wanted to say thank you for all of your support from the beginning of the year. It's been really incredible. I feel like we've bonded like never before and I've been consistent on my YouTube for over two months now and I'm very proud of myself so thank you for watching and I'll see you very very soon bye guys